Hey there, thank you for watching Simply Real TV. My name's Chuck. This is Father's Day weekend, and I got a new uh, Father's Day gift that I want to share with you, and hopefully this weekend I'll get to go try it out. So I'm planning on heading out tomorrow to give this thing a whirl. Uh, for those of you who watch this channel, you know during this season is when I'm out kayak fishing and kayaking. In the winter, I do a lot of ice fishing videos. This summer, I am using a new kayak. So we got the Old Town Sportsman Autopilot, uh, which required getting some more gear. So I've done some research on kayak carts for the Old Town kayaks and for heavier kayaks. And I came across a lot of guys that use this Wilderness Systems cart. So I decided to put that on my list and the kids got it for me for Father's Day. Let's throw this thing together, see how it looks. So here's some of the parts. We've got the, one of the bunks, crossbar, Package of hardware, there's some straps in here. That's pretty slick, probably use those. Man, these are some massive wheels. Get the size, heavy duty plastic. No air, that's something I like when I'm looking at kayak carts. Got the 12, 12 inch diameter airless wheels. They never go flat and they roll over terrain smoothly. Engineered to transport the heaviest kayaks up to 450 pounds. Uh, the bunker bar frame is adjustable width. Prevents the kayak from twisting and slipping sideways. Uh, there's two height options. You can adjust how low the tires go from the kayak, the bottom of the kayak. So. I think with my kayak, I'll probably have to lift the cart to keep the wheels away from the bottom. Um, this one doesn't go through the scuppers, so that's good. It's constructed of marine grade, high strength, heat treated aluminum alloy for superior strength. Sounds pretty good. It's got two security straps to prevent it from slipping off the cart. It's easy to load and unload the kayak. No kickstands or scupper posts required. So I noticed with my other sit on top kayak, I have a scupper style cart and I'd always have to like unload the kayak, stick, stick it on its side, load the cart in and then roll it all back up onto the wheels. I always thought that was kind of inconvenient in a way. So with this cart, you can just lift the kayak up and set it on the cart so there's no unloading or tipping or flipping and I've actually bent up my scupper cart by rolling it over so many times so the frame actually bent on that one it kind of tracks funny when I'm pulling it through the parking lot it's collapsible it weighs 13 pounds wheels are 12 inch diameter and three and a half inches wide and the assembled cart is 25 and a half inches wide from wheel to wheel and 32 inches front to back, 16 inches high. Voila. Seems pretty sturdy. I think it's gonna be a decent cart. Gonna keep the kayak pretty high off the ground, which will be good. And we've got these nice handy straps to strap it onto the kayak with. We got these little, it's like some kind of a protector so the buckles don't dig into the plastic. That's kind of cool. And there you have it. The Wilderness Systems Heavy Duty Kayak Cart. Okay, well that's uh, kayak cart assembly. Took me like 15 minutes. We'll see you at the reservoir.
jump out of the boat. <laughs> I like this boat already. So I'm gonna keep this one take it home. So the sun came out and it's starting to become a really nice morning. Only got one trout so far. I got a bite earlier when I first put in and then we caught one there a while ago. See that was around 8, I think 8.30. Now it's about 9 o'clock. But we're just cruising around here. Checking out the lake. It's neat with this kayak, I'm able to go to some places I've wanted to fish. And it just, it's a lot of work to paddle to. And this is kind of neat. I was able to just drive over here and now we're trolling along, checking out this cove. I think I paddled here a few years ago one of my kayaks and I caught a big pike in here. It's so cool just to sit here and see the scenery go by. Watch the end of the pole there. Ticking along. Waiting for something to hit it. Got the sun. Starting to wander for a while there. It was raining pretty good. And it was really cloudy and it was, it was still warm, but now that the sun's out, it's really warm. Feels good. So when I did catch that trout earlier, I, I was using a snap weight to get the lure down. And I pulled the snap weight off and set it on top of my tackle box or my tackle bag. And then it slid off the tackle bag, went right down through the scupper hole. <laughs> so those snap weights aren't something you wanna just be throwing in the lake. So um, if I stop here later, I have really good reason now to put in some scupper plugs. So I've been avoiding putting them in cause I got the wrong size and they're too tall. And I'm afraid I'll break them off with my feet, but 
I think they're a lot cheaper than snap weights, so I think the uh, snap weight's gonna win that battle. Anyway, I've been out here since, I think I started kayaking at seven. It's five after nine now. And I've been, I've gone pretty far on this, this battery. Um, I haven't charged since the maiden voyage and it's doing really good. Um, it was still full when I checked it before this trip. So uh, I can check it again here and see what it's at right now. I think you can do that while you're moving. So let's try it out. Looking pretty good. My Nakwa battery is running my fish finder. Um, so we're running 12.2 volts. Looks like, looks like that one's holding up pretty good. That's pretty cool when I hooked onto that fish and got him to the boat, hitting the spot lock. That's really neat. So then I can just focus on getting the fish in the boat. Not so much worry about where the boat's gonna go or if it's gonna crash into something. There we go, found you some deer. So I decided to stop for a minute, put my fish in the cooler. Pretty good size. Little guy. Bag him up, take him home. Brine him and smoke him. Got one of these little boxes for a trunk, so I have a hat, my coffee, my camera gear in there, my lunch bags right there. We just put the trap in this cooler. And you can see I got quite a bit of room still. I just threw the dolly on there. Seems like it's out of the way of the rudder and everything. So yeah, there's lots of nice room in this kayak. And I just Pulled the motor up and used the net to scooch over to the shore here. That seems to work pretty good. Time to take the sweatshirt off and do some more fishing. So we got some pretty good choppy waves here. No white caps yet. We've got her going full blast. Kicking up a little bit of water. 3.8 miles an hour. Not too bad. Got a good one here. Hit the spot. There he goes. There we go. Got another one. Right.
a little bit. Keep losing it. Keep up. There we go. Another beauty. I'm gonna put that one back because we got we need a bigger fish than that to keep it. So overall, it wasn't a bad day. Second time out with the kayak, got to try out my new kayak cart. Caught the first fish on the new kayak. Been a pretty productive day. So um, I think the kayak cart works pretty good. Uh, glad I got it for Father's Day. Glad I got to try it out, Father's Day weekend. So to the fam, thanks, did a good job. I love it. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll catch you next time.